Hey guys, what's up? Cyber Dark Wolf here in the Wolf's Den, and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. We're on to part three, and before we get going, let's take a look at our new guy, Makuhita. Now, I said go over Shadow Pokemon. This is a Shadow Pokemon, Pokemon with the dark aura around him, like Rui put it. If you see the heart gauge thing, that is what makes it a Shadow Pokemon. The door to its heart is tightly shut. As you walk around, as you use him, and all this other stuff, he will low, slowly, sometimes, depending, will lower that heart gauge down to pretty much nothing. When he gets there, he can be purified. We'll go over that much later when we get there. And when you purify him, you can nickname him. That's why I said put nicknames in the comment section, because we can nickname this bad boy at the time. But for now, we can still use him, and he can still gain experience. It will just, like, collect, and he'll be able to use it later on. So... Makuhita, he's got Guts, and all he's got is Shadow Rush, which is only a move Shadow Pokemon can know. There are a lot of those types of moves, we'll go over more of them when we get there. But, we're actually going to switch him in for Umbreon, because he needs some experience. Let's get going. Oh, what? The Power Rangers? Okay, heads up here, the Power Rangers are officially blocking every exit here. Now, you guys realize I didn't get to pick a starter. And by this point, you should realize, oh, hey, he didn't pick a starter. Well, I didn't. I now get to pick a starter. So we're going to heal up the team here. Each one of those three has a Hoenn starter. I'm right, right? No, Johto starter. Sorry, got my regions confused. Johto being my favorite region, I'm happy with that being the starters. Now... I'm just going to push Rui out like normal. You can choose from, of course, the fire, water, and grass being Megan not Meganium, I'm sorry, Bayleaf, Croconaw, or Quilava. Now, I don't remember this game enough to the fact of which type's the best one to get. Because I know there are certain types that are very difficult to find. I will not be taking Croconaw. Because there's actually a water type Pokemon that I really want. So, Croconaw, you're definitely out of contention. I'm not a big grass fan, so I'm very sorry to Bayleaf. And all you Bayleaf lovers out there, I know there are a lot of them. I'm not big in Bayleaf. Not a big fan. So, I'm not going after Bayleaf. I will, though, on the other hand, go after Typh Typhlosion. Quillava, my favorite of the three starters. Let's do this. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not about to let you pass. Go, go, Power Rangers! Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? I'm gonna summon my Megazord! Well, I'm sorry, he wouldn't do that. That would only be Tommy, the Green Ranger. Who's going to beat me? You are? Don't be crying out of regret later. Big talk from Mystery Troop Russell. He's got a Quilava and a Grimer. Guess what? His Grimer's gonna die real quick. Now, there's also where you're gonna learn about how Shadow Pokemon aren't very effective against other Shadow Pokemon. To put it bluntly, if you Shadow Rush on another Shadow Pokemon, it will do simply nothing. So, because of that, I'm just going to attack Quilava with Return. Makes it easier on me and... Shadow Pokemon attacks, I believe, if I remember correctly, are super effective against any other typing. Oh, God, smokescreen! Please don't start doing this. Please do not start doing this. It's a crit! And yes, there is recoil on Shadow Rush. I hate it so much, but it's there. And apparently, they just want to go after Makuhita. What you got against Makuhita, man? I'm going to get Quilava to around maybe a little under half, and we'll throw a Pokeball to find out. Oh, I could go for another return and be happy, but I don't know if it would crit or not. That's what worries me. There's something. Something going on with Makuhita. Oh, that's awesome. Hyper mode. Okay, guys. Hyper mode. Pretty much when it gets really pissed off, it goes into hyper mode. 
What kind of goes down in hyper mode is it's a much higher rate of critical. But if you call it in hyper mode, you'll see what happens here in just a sec. I'm going to go for the catch here. Hope You know what? I want it right now. Great ball. You bought these great balls. I'm going to use it quick. Okay, let's do like Ash in the show. Second and drops. <laughs> We're so close. Okay, I called Makuhita, and if you notice, his his heart gauge went down a lot. That is the great part of, oh my god, about hyper mode. It allows you to really bring that, and Grimer's gonna kill me. Oh, Grimer, you being a real, real douche right now. Okay, we'll attack there, and I'm gonna take a chance. You will get an opportunity to catch Pokemon UKO, Shadow Pokemon wise. So it's okay to knock them out. However, you know, if you want to catch them the first time around, which I do, you do it. And there goes Makuhita. Oh, I got really nervous for a second with that recoil. That sucks. That sucks a lot. I want Makuhita to get all the experience from this. It's hard to Nuzlocke this game. So if you were, exper you were expecting like a Nuzlocke of some sort, I don't think you'd ever see one of this. It's a possibility you might be able to find one, but I would never do it. You don't get enough Pokemon in the first place to really even try a Nuzlocke. Okay, come on. Let T bow it, kinda. We got him! Hey, a Spoink. I like Spoink. Not a big Grumpig fan, actually. I think Grumpig looks kinda stupid. I like Spoink, though. He's cute. Bye bye, Grimer! Well, poor Makuhita gets no experience, which is sad. Whoops. I almost used Confusion on a Psychic type. Oh, I didn't point this out. I just want to make a reference. I'm not a good Pokemon player. So if you're expecting Pro Stretch, you're not going to get it. I need to turn off my mouse so I didn't mess anything up. Okay, that was fairly simple. We at least got Quilava, which is awesome. He can now be part of the team. And we got plenty of time left in this episode. So what did I say we were doing last episode? We're going to do the pre-gym. What was that strange? Or, whoops, that's Rui. She doesn't sound like that. What was that strange Pokemon? What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. That sounds terrifying. No, you did it! You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? Yeah, they did. He just said they did. Hmm. <laughs> Knowing that's not going to help you do anything. Run away! I know, when I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Wolf, let's go. Those guys are probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it wasn't Pyrite that they captured me. Okay, we're going to go to Pyrite in the next episode. But I want to give you guys a little heads up about Pyrite that, for me, w has never made any sense. How the hell did she survive in Pyrite? Pyrite is the slum of this game. And that's putting it nicely. Pyrite is just where you live there, you are, like, to the ritzy people, you are trash and nothing but trash. Really get out of my way! God. She's always in the way. Now, I want Espeon to level up some, so I'm going to keep Espeon in the front. However, 
I am going to bring our buddy Quilava. Now, Quilava does have charcoal, which is awesome. He also has, or like, Bayleaf would have Miracle Seed and Croconaw. Has whatever power up, powers up water type moves. I don't remember. But, uh, that's what you can do with that. So now, we talk to Justy. Now, Justy, I believe, is a guy. I always got confused because he looks like a chick, so it's the Frieza situation. Hello, I'm Justy. I'm in charge of running the pre-gym. Judging by your appearance, I'd say that you're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? Yep. Okay, then, let me introduce you to the trainers of pre-gym. When you're ready to go, go to the battle area in the center and stand at the left-hand side. Let's go, Rui! She just stands over on the side. Wolf, go for it! I'll be right here cheering! I don't care. Looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. In all, you'll be facing four trainers. They're all a handful, I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponents enter. None of them get voices because they're not important. We're never going to see them any other time except for here. If you like taking on some grass type Pokemon, then I'm the one you want. Let's do this. Didn't even crack. Oh, he's got Sunkern and Hopil. Biggest threat ever. Sunkern is so bad. The worst Pokemon ever, legitimately. Stat wise, it's worse than Magikarp. Let's just finish off this thing real quick. That did not take long to get you out of the way, Sunkern. Ooh, I think he's actually a battler. Certain shadow Pokemon level or um, heart gauges go down quicker doing certain things. Quilava, I think, actually went down a little bit more than Makuhita did in the first battle we used with Makuhita. So I think he's a battler. I didn't even read this text. I'm sorry if you cared. I'm going to toughen up some more. I hope you keep working too. I might. Oh, God. My nose is itching a lot right now. So what's your plan? Do you keep chugging on with your battle challenge? Yes, I do. Okay, gotcha. Let's get the next battle started. Oh, it's a girl who's dressed in, like, just a dress that is really way too short. Leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you how strong the water type can be. <gasps> you want to turn into Misty. Liqui. <laughs> convenient she's got pika blue and surskit i'm just gonna let quilava keep lowering that heart gauge yeah i think he's a battler i'm happy about that too because i plan on giving him a lot of experience because when you purify them they get all the experience they gain so literally you could take Quilava in there after purification like once he once he's able to be purified you can take him in purify him and he could evolve right then and there and I'm kind of hoping we can get that I don't think we'll get that much experience for him by the time he's able to be purified and we can do it but we'll see we can hope those bubbles My bubbles oh I got the speed drop and a defense curl. Good thing I like special attacks with Espeon. Sir Skit. And as the heart gauge lowers, this is another thing I didn't talk about. As the heart gauge lowers, they'll get new attacks. So he might learn smoke screen or ember or something. He'll probably flame wheel because he knew flame wheel when we fought him. As the heart gauge opens, he'll learn those attacks. So he'll have the one shadow rush with three other attacks by the time we're able to purify him. It's actually very helpful in the long run. Bye bye Liqui. I was impressed by your Pokemon. Thank you for being impressed by my Shadow Cool Lava and Espeon. 
They didn't get to see Maku Hida or Umbreon. My goal is to become the ultimate water type battler. Back to more training for me. No, we might actually be able to make it to Pyrite. Won't be doing anything in Pyrite. So what's your plan? Do you keep on Yes, we keep on chugging. God justy. Oh man, it's a little girl. We're doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. It's always what it is. We're doomed. Is it you? Well, it doesn't matter. You can learn how a proper trainer battles from me. I don't know it. Oh, that's a guy? I am so sorry, Dugo. I thought you were a girl. I feel terrible. That kid is going to be scarred for his life. I am so sorry to him. Oh, God. I feel kind of, I legitimately kind of feel bad about that. I love Trapping. He's adorable. And Flygon is amazing. Now, if you guys enjoy this series, which I hope you do, uh, if you guys enjoy this series, there is a sequel to this game. If For those of you that don't know, there is a sequel to this game. And personally, I somewhat think it's better than the first one. No offense to anybody who likes the, this one better. But... I have beaten that one on a multitude of occasions. I am willing to play it again for you guys if you'd like to see it. Let's finish off Trap Engine Swin Up. It has to be on level 27. And then we take on our last challenger. What I like about the pre-gym is it's really easy to go through early. So it's kind of like, I didn't want to do it without the Shadow Pokemon because it's really easy experience for them. It just seems pointless if you did it, like, without them. Because you're just losing a chance to really give them some early, early experience. Okay, Quilava, you're not even going to attack any... Oh, I forgot! Oh. I forgot to call him. I was wondering why it just went to Espeon. I forgot I have to call him normally. Oh, he'll get the call in the next match. You're tough, even though you don't look it. Thanks, Dugo. You're a real prick. I'm glad I insulted you. I'm glad I said you were a girl. The way you battle is uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. I'd say chaotic. Well, I'll wish you the best of luck. Go continue being a girl. Douche. Yeah, we're going to continue, Justy. We got time. That is a girl. That is 110% a female. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're right. She's quite nice. Lady Gwyn. A strange spelling of Gwyn. Oh, Lord, she's got a Geodude and a Rhyhorn. She's a combination of Giovanni and Brock. Lava coming out in hyper mode. I would do like some attacking in hyper mode, but I'm not big on attacking in hyper mode. I like having the chance to lower the heart gauge a little bit more. And as you notice, he learned smoke screen. And hopefully, like in just a little bit, actually, I think he's more of one of those guys. If you call him, he loses more. I don't know. He's confusing right now. Hopefully, though, uh, He'll learn a new attack soon. Oh, uh, no! Oh, Lord! Quilava! We almost lost you there, buddy. You know what? I don't want to lose you, so we're going to actually split up your experience. I do not want you to not get experience. Makuhita, you're going to come out here, open up your heart gauge a bit, and you're going to get to come out here and attack Geodude. And you get a little bit of experience from Rhyhorn. Isn't that fun? I don't know what move Makuhita learns. I think he learns Vital Throw at some point.
Oh, and another thing I love about this game is how you start off with like level 25 and 28 Pokemon. Right off the bat. You're coming into this game. Well, actually, what do you know? I want to know what he knew. Focus energy, okay. But I love the fact that you're coming into this game and have high level Pokemon kind of right off the bat. So it's like you don't really have to worry about that grind early on. Just straight into the game. I think that's an awesome concept that this game had. Lady Gwen, you go down. Thank you! You are nice. I like you, Lady Gwen. Can you go and tell Dugo he's a prick? My battling style must have been too sophisticated for you. Lady Gwen just became a little bit of a prick herself. Yeah, you take that tomb down there. Mm-hmm. Hi, Justy. Whoa, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. Hey, I got a white herb. You don't have full party of Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come see me again. That's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. Here's just a heads up. Justy is an asshole early on in the game. So do not face him unless, like, you've purified some Pokemon. As far as I remember, his Pokemon are pretty high level. You're awfully strong. I think you will find it easy to become the blah. I thought you gave me something. Oh, no, never mind. That's in the sequel. Never mind. I'm gone. We're going to head to Pyrite, guys. We're going to heal up. We're going to head to Pyrite. And unless... May only... God. That kid's more annoying than Rui right now. May only be in the sequels that there's an item back here. We'll find out. Looks like it's only in the sequels. That's disappointing. Because I remember specifically getting like certain items around here. There were like item boxes everywhere. Disappointed. Like, get anything in here. This might run over a bit just from me wanting stuff. Do you give me something? Yeah, still about Team Snagma. Oh, never care. Grumble. If anything, make a movie or drama. I don't care. How boring as long as it's the news. Oh, poor guy doesn't like the news of Team Snagum. Well, I take it we're not getting anything here. So, you know what? Let's just head straight to Pyrite. I'm going to worry about healing because I don't believe we get into a battle. Oh, yeah, we got to go to the construction lot first. I forgot about that. So you know it's there and so you can go back to it later in the game. Not much of a spoiler, but just a thing. Whoa, hold it there. There's a construction set. It's not a place, safe place to be. There's no place for toilets to visit. Go on, scream. Don't believe there's anything around here yet. Nope. Really? Get out of my way. Okay. We will also be back there at the end of the game. I know that much. Pyrite Town. I love Pyrite Town's music. It's really good. Oh, Mr. Johnson, give a man a break here. I keep telling you I don't know anything. Well, that better be true, Kale. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you. You, you, you just... You can guess. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. That's Kale. He's a douche. We'll see Kale later. But welcome to Pyrite Town, guys. That'll be the end of today's episode. I will see you guys in the next episode or whatever else I 
upload at any point in time. So, remember, like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun stuff, whatever else is you gotta do. I'm just gonna keep my finger right here for a second. See you guys.